everyone, and welcome to the 25th episode in our AI and You podcast series. Today is Wednesday, December 16th, 2020, and I'm your host, Vikar Saidi. I'm a computer scientist, an engineer, a lecturer, and a consultant. I'm also the author of several books. My most recent book is about artificial intelligence and is titled The Genome Affair. The Genome Affair is a work of speculative fiction. It examines what the world might be like if some of the more extraordinary capabilities forecast to be realized in AI over the next 20 to 30 years were actually realized today. Given the growing list of frightening existential threats humankind now faces, the book pays particular attention to the impact AI is expected to have on world affairs. The book is available in ebook format for those who prefer to read on a digital device, but it's also available in a high quality paperback edition. The Genome Affair is available on Amazon, so I hope you'll take the time to read it and to leave a review. Book reviews are very helpful for writers. I'm very interested in how science and technology influence world affairs and the big questions facing humankind. Studying at the confluence of the four academic disciplines of human history, political thought, science, and technology offers a deep understanding and important lessons of how advances in human endeavor have influenced and impacted civilization. I'm available to give talks on artificial intelligence and its related technologies, and on the impact AI is expected to have, or is already having, on our world. If you'd like to get in touch with me to arrange a web-based event or consulting meeting with your company or organization, you can find my contact info in the podcast notes below. And now, on to today's podcast. In our last podcast, episode 24, I spoke about the coronavirus. I examined the role artificial intelligence has played during the course of the pandemic and how this might impact the future of AI in developed nations. In today's podcast, episode 25, I'll be talking about artificial intelligence, connectomics, and transhumanism and what these revolutionary disciplines at the leading edge of science and technology might mean for the future of human evolution. Let's get started. Aurora 21 is a supercomputer being developed by the United States Department of Energy at Argonne National Labs in suburban Chicago. One of the important applications for this state-of-the-art machine will be in the science of connectomics. Aurora 21 and connectomics will work to map the 85 billion or so neurons in the human brain, along with the synaptic links between each of these neurons, into silicon. Once the human neural network is mapped, then, in theory, it it is essentially preserved indefinitely. Although connectomics research is still in early stages and requires computational ability that can easily consume all available computing resources currently available on the planet, the implications of such a mapping are profound. It may may yet take four to eight decades, but once we succeed, we will have essentially extricated the human mind from its biochemical host and preserved it indefinitely in silicon-based memory chips and processors. Now, each mind can potentially live indefinitely. We have yet to understand the implications for succeeding in such an unprecedented task, but much like the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technique recently recognized by the Nobel Committee in 2020, there are many ethical and philosophical questions that we will need to consider. 
We do not understand the place or role of the human conscience as we move forward in this extrication of the human mind from its biochemical host. For example, will the conscience automatically transfer during this extrication process or not? And this will lead to tremendous controversy, ethical debate, and cause for regulation, much like we are currently experiencing in the field of gene editing. Ethical and philosophical challenges notwithstanding, the potential for progress in such extrication and transplantation, or transhumanism, to silicon is staggering. So many of the ideas that have frustrated human minds for centuries suddenly become plausible and feasible. For example, the content of our mind, that is, our thoughts and ideas, our memories and personality, and even our conscience, this can readily and easily move from place to place, not simply on Earth, but across the universe. We no longer require nourishment for long space journeys or physical adaptation for the duration of the journey within space vehicles, or adaptation once arriving at our destination. Rather, our silicon-based neural network, our minds, can be transported at the speed of light, much like data moves around fiber optic networks today. We could even go to multiple places and have multiple experiences, and then have our memories merged into our one mind at a later time, much like we do with a shared document. We could potentially rent avatars or exoskeletons of our choosing upon arrival at our destination. Once we have fulfilled our itinerary planned for our visit, we simply return our avatar, as we might check out of a hotel or return a car at the airport and go on via, via, via optical transmission to our next meeting or destination. This scientific and technological path makes mass Earth and space travel realistic for the first time in human history, while simultaneously disturbing the path of evolutionary biology with this alternative and profound path of intelligent design. In fact, the more we think about it, we find the possibilities are endless. As mentioned earlier, connectomics is the science of comprehensively mapping all the neural connections in the brain, essentially its wiring diagram, for transfer to another location, such as a silicon chipset. Once this transfer is complete, we can use laser technology to take the one-second light journey to the moon, followed by a 20-minute journey to Mars, where we can tour the planet in an avatar of our choice. At this point, we might be thinking that this is just science fiction, but in fact, nothing we are discussing is contradicted by the laws of physics, as confirmed by professor and theoretical physicist Michio Kaku at the City University of New York. We are now capable of exploring the universe as pure consciousness, traveling, when needed, at the speed of light, and then embodied in avatars or exoskeletons once at our destination. Of course, this does call into question what it really means to be human anymore, and we are uncertain about the consequences of embarking upon the connectomics and transhumanism trajectory, even though we are scientifically convinced that through silicon and artificial intelligence algorithms, we can potentially preserve human consciousness, memories, personalities, and thoughts indefinitely. Although we may be 50 years from rudimentary capability in these revolutionary sciences, by the end of the century, we may have realistic abilities for such preservation of human life.
what might we get wrong along this journey? And what might the consequences of these mistakes be? We are interrupting evolutionary biology. Is this a step forward for humankind? Or is it some form of an escape? These are questions that remain to be answered as Aurora 21 and other quantum and supercomputers enabled by artificial intelligence unlock the secrets of the human mind in the coming decades. Thank you for spending some time with me. I'm trying to follow the TED Talk format, and so I'm keeping these podcasts under 20 minutes. Let me know what you think. I hope you'll find these insights into artificial intelligence helpful, and I hope you'll read my new book, The Genome Affair. It's on Amazon. Until next time, then, this has been the AI and You podcast with author Bikar Saidi.